Lazarus Jacobs maintained that it is not everything that requires finances to change the corporation for the better. There's no excuse for us to have the new same uh, news uh, set which we've had for the past 10 years. It doesn't take money to change this. We have creative people here, we have graphic designers here. How come we don't employ them and so that they can just change the set, for example? I mean, if we are able to change presenters, why, why can't we change the set? Um, secondly, if you look at station jingles and things like that, those are things that, that's, that is within our reach that we can do without having to spend hundreds and thousands of Namibia dollars. Jacobs also spoke about staff morale of the corporation, stressing that it's not only better salaries that can inspire the workers, but knowing why one is employed should also be a motivational factor. Jacobs want to see a motivated staff who are committed towards ensuring maximum output. Whether you're a, you're a cleaner or a director general, you are part of a chain that needs to complete the task. And we are only as, as strong as our weakest link. So we want to be in a situation where uh, we have highly motivated, uh, motivated staff members. And yes, uh, now there's a couple of things we can do. One, we can look at training. The people, we need to say, the people who are occupying particular positions, are they well trained? Can we advance their skills? Can we send them somewhere else where they can be, they, where we can advance their skills? I have they reached their ceiling. He says, since the appointment of the board, Members have been working to address the plight of contract workers and the general remuneration of employees. The former NBC radio presenter further stressed on the need to streamline some of the company's operations and align them to available financial resources. Immediately, how do we address the issue? We said, no month to month, let's give them a year contract. After a year contract, we we'll do a review and say, okay, can these people then become part of uh, the, the permanent establishment where they can have like medical aid and all these fringe benefits that you are that you are referring to, but uh, the organization as it stands right now, with the amount of money that we are that we are generating, will not be able to sustain 